Welcome back. Back in the shop pouring swim baits. I'll be pouring a lot of stuff this winter. I'll be doing soft plastics, leadhead jigs, lead sinkers, airbrushing, doing all kinds of stuff. Past time, ready for ice and everything get out of here. That way we can get back to some open water fishing. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks. This is what your plastic saw ought to look like when it's fully heated. Crystal clear, no bubbles. We're going to stick with a chartreuse pattern. Go pearl white with it. You don't just want to start stirring the pearl powders. Get them down in the plastisol. Good as you can. And then start. If not, that pearl powder just goes everywhere. I'll take and get this mixed good. And then I'll scrape all these sides. Do a reheat. And we'll start pouring. So for this first round, we're going to do pearl white bellies. The back and tail is going to be chartreuse. Pour a few of them, then we'll switch it and do just the opposite. Do chartreuse belly, pearl white back and tail. Let these bellies set up just a little bit. We get a nice crisp line. Wait too long, they won't laminate. Don't wait long enough. Get a real fuzzy line. Colors will run around on you. Okay, there's the pearl white. Now these I'm gonna start at the tail and then fill to the head. Using this chunk of scrap plastic as a stopper. You can start and stop right where you want, you don't have to worry about drips or runs or anything. There we go. Alright, these are set up. Let's check them out. Look pretty good. Got just a hair of delamination right at the nose, but I can fix that with a lighter. So what I'll do on the next round, instead of pouring all eight bellies first and then the backs, I'm going to do four, pour them, start the other four, finish that pour, get a little bit better lamination. Alright, so let's pour our four bellies. Give it half the time to set up and we'll come back over with our chartreuse. Again, 
again starting at the tail. Oh, if it is a little soft yet, it doesn't disrupt it as much. And don't be afraid if you're pouring this, it goes over the edges. These swim baits like this, you can trim them real easy. First four. we go reheat my plastic we'll let them set up pull them out take a look at them then we'll reverse it we'll go chartreuse belly pearl white back and tail that's better when you pull these things out of the mold you're gonna lay them down Keep everything nice and straight. You lay one down that's got a tail bend or something like that and it cures the rest of the way. That's how it's going to be. Let's trim one of these. Mm, this one. You see right here we're going to trim some. So instead of taking and cutting with the razor blade, I'm going to hold it down. Hold the razor blade down. Now it's through and straight, and then pull the bait away. There's what gets trimmed off. That makes that nice and straight. Right there's what I need to trim off. There it's through. Pull the bait away. Okay, so on a couple of these. Right at the very front, where the pearl white and the chartreuse meet, there's a little bit of delamination. What I'm going to do is take this little biter here. You don't want to hold it in one spot. Just get it warmed back up. Weld it all right back together. Now that's not going to come loose. Just don't overdo it with this thing. You'll burn it. One more. There we go. Well, if you guys want to see a bad one, I'm just going to go ahead and torch this one. This is what you don't want to do. Right there where I'm welding it together. If you hold this for too long, right there. Gets all discolored, burns it. I can pull that off here and try to remelt it again. And it's still going to catch fish, but nobody wants to buy that. So, just a quick little amount. There it is. Plastic's hot, let's reverse it. I'm going to do chartreuse belly.
give it a few seconds. Let's set up just a hair more. Do the next round. Let them cool and pull them out. There we go. Another round of swim baits poured up. Ready to go in the box, do some fishing. Hope you guys like it. If you got any other ideas, different styles you want me to pour, let me know. And uh, if you need anything, pour your own baits. Right there's a place to do it. Lurecraft.com. Tell them I sent you. Thanks.